So in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be talking about how to actually read the Bible. Now many people just read the Bible just to get it out of the way and just to read it, just to read it. And they don't like really understand and really just meditate on the word. And I'm going to be teaching you on how to like actually read the Bible and like read in between the lines. So first of all, it says in Josh, chap Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate it. Meditate on it day and night, so that you will, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. So, in the in this Bible verse, it says to meditate it, meditate on it day and night. So it means to just read it, understand it day and night. And then the second part says so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. So that means that you're able to understand the Bible, and then you'll be going to be able to implement it in your daily life and then the third part is you would be prosperous and successful so this means that you would just be prosperous or successful and like um, overcoming temptation fighting the devil you will be victorious over the devil when you read the bible when you meditate on the bible so it says that in this bible verse and another thing is is in matthew chapter 4 verse 1 through 11 is jesus was tempted by the devil and he kept on um like combating him with for it is written it is written in the bible so whenever we're tempted we could go back with the with the lies the devil's telling us and say that this is what this is what the bible says so i'm not gonna do it and the way it says that jesus does this is matthew chapter 4 verse 1 through 4 then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights afterward, he was hungry. Now when the tempter, or the devil, came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered, This is Jesus. This is Jesus now. But he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So, Jesus combated the devil with saying, It is written that man shouldn't live on bread alone, but by the word of God. So we should not only just get our energy from, the, from food, but we should get our energy from the Bible. So yeah, and if you're ever going to fast, I don't recommend doing a 40 day fast, but if that's what Jesus told you to do, then go for it. So yeah, so that's how it shows that you have to use what the Bible says in your daily life. And then the third Bible verses that say this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. All scripture is God breath and is used for teaching, rebunking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So in this Bible verse, it says that um, the Bible is God breath. Everything that the Bible says, it's from God. And if it's true, and the Bible says it's true, then it's correct because God said it. So yeah, and it says that the Bible is used for teaching, and I'm using Bible verses to teach you on how to read the Bible, so that's a way uh, I'm using the Bible. Training in righteousness, so you could read the Bible to train and grow your relationship with God every single day. So that's how you're able to train in righteousness. And it says the servants of God are Christians, and Christians, every, whenever you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you get the Holy Spirit, and then you become a servant of God. And then you get the Holy Spirit, and then there's Christians that are not for God, but not against God. And those Christians are called lukewarm Christians. And if you don't know what that is, you can check out this video that just popped up. And then the last part of this Bible verse is it says, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So it says just that when you read the Bible, you get knowledge on how to do good works every single day. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you want, but it's all up to you. Thank you very much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye.